This is a quick update of my COP coil-on plug work to date as of March 27, 2015. Right now I am using three Arduino Unos to do the things that eventually will take only one computing device plus an engine. You saw me making sparks every second in my last video. Now I have a pot to control the spark rate from about the equivalent of 100 RPM to about 6500 RPM. Notice that the not all the sparks may show up on the video because they occur for only a couple of microseconds and uh, that spark may actually be going off between uh, frame grabs or whatever you want to call them. Okay, it works. I just need to add another pot soon so I can learn how dwell time affects how hot the sparks are. And of course this varies from one coil in a coil pack to another, or any coil for that matter. Here on the right is my engine simulator. It is made from an Arduino Uno H-bridge experiment that I had laying around, but I added a larger motor and an aluminum two-pole rotor that has south outwards facing magnets epoxied to both ends. A Hall effect sensor is mounted on a brass bracket which allows me to experiment with magnet to sensor distance with this screw. The soup can supports the bracket and also affords some protection if the magnet should come loose. This system has an RPM range of 0 to about 2600 RPMs depending on how good the 9 volt battery has. And as you can see, a pot on the board controls the speed. The Hall Effect sensor's output is sent to my third Arduino for processing. At this point, the program simply outputs RPM change to the serial monitor at a one per second sample rate, but it does have code to send trigger pulses to the COP. I'm just not using that feature quite yet. I can change the code to get double the RPMs by telling it that I have only one magnet per rev. That way I can get closer to 5200 counts per minute as I need it. Here you can see, I hope, at the bottom of the screen, the new sample data arriving. Well, that's it for now. I feel that I finally understand enough about what is going on here to consider myself to be dangerous and to start working on the code to put it all together.